In this video, I will show you how to get custom songs and mods for Beat Saber on the Oculus Quest 1 and 2. Also, according to YouTube statistics, only a small percentage of people who actually watch my videos are actually subscribed, so please subscribe for more content like this. If you don't like the videos, you can change your mind at any time. Thanks, and enjoy the rest of the video. If you want to skip ahead or choose a different method to use, or find the websites in the video, the links will be in the description below. So what you will need for this is a copy of Beat Saber for Quest, an Oculus Quest 1 or 2 with access to developer mode and a developer account, and any Windows computer with side quests, and the ADB drivers installed on them. You can find this in the video linked to the top right of the screen. For the wall maps on Beat Saber, I would only recommend a Quest 2 as the performance on Quest 1 suffers quite dramatically. A warning before you do this, this breaks multiplayer so if you want to play multiplayer again, you need to revert the settings by uninstalling and reinstalling Beat Saber. To get the mods and custom songs, go to the BMBF website in the description and download the latest APK file. Then. Turn on your Quest and plug it into your computer and allow USB debugging. Open SideQuest and make sure there is a green circle with the IP of your Quest. Then drag the APK file to the top left of SideQuest and let it install. Restart the Quest, then slide into the Quest and connect it to the internet. Go to Apps and Games and launch Beat Saber. Once the logo shows up, you can close it. You can set up BMBF straight from the quest. Leap into your quest again and go to Apps and Games, Unknown Sources and click BMBF. After you have launched this once, you will be able to find this on the Apps and Games, TV, Channels and the BMBF with the unicorn icon. This version of BMBF is only for Beat Saber version 1.13.0, so make sure you have that. Then click continue on the pink button. After, click uninstall Beat Saber. When the pop-up asks to uninstall Beat Saber, just click OK. Then click patch Beat Saber. This allows the mods and custom songs to be added into the game. Wait for that to load. Click the install modded Beat Saber button. Click open settings if your crew or quest 2 has a pop-up that says do you want to allow unknown sources to install apps? Then tick the slider and click back at the top left of the window. Next click install to install Beat Saber. If a pop-up shows up saying that Beat Saber is not official and restore from the store, click close. Now this is important. When Beat Saber has finished installing, a pop-up slides in. Do not click open, only click done. The screen should stay the same. Just go to unknown sources and open BMBF again. A new screen should show up. This is what it should look like. At the top, there are different sections you can go to, and you can see which songs and playlists are currently installed on the quest. You can also go to the browser, which automatically goes to B Saber, and you can find the Beat Saber songs and playlists to download there. You can also go to Sync Saber, where you can automatically download the latest in songs and playlist. There is also a mods tab. This shows the current mods you have installed and activated. Lastly, there is the tools tab. This is where if the BMBF steps do not work from downloading plugins or mods and playlists, click the quick fix button. If this still doesn't work, then go to apps and games, then TV, channels, and click BMBF and try again. If that doesn't fix it, then restart the headset. You can download songs from BSaber on the browser of BMBF. You can download mods by making sure BMBF is open in your quest and going to your computer and going to the internet browser and typing in the quest's IP address, which you can find at the top left of SideQuest. Type the IP address in and then colon, then 50,000 after. This should bring up a similar menu as from the quest, but now you can import songs and mods from your computer. Go to questboard.xyz and go to released mods at the top and download the ones you want to use. 
I used Pink Core for more PC-like gameplay, mapping extensions for wall maps and color, and Goodbye Bug. After downloading, go to the IP address in your browser and go to Upload, and drag and drop the file to there and wait for the green indicator to say that mod has successfully installed. Then after modifying anything like installing songs or mods, make sure you click the Sync to Beat Saber button at the top right of the computer BMBF website or the Quest BMBF window. To install a song or playlist from your computer, go to either beatsaver.com, bsaber.com and find a song. And go to the BMBF website on your computer and drag the file to the same spot as the mods. You can make sure the songs and playlists are installed by going to the playlist tabs and looking for the songs. To make sure the mods and songs work, launch Beat Saber. If a pop-up shows, don't click restore. This resets all the mods and all the songs and goes back to the default Beat Saber. Click open and Beat Saber will load. If this process works, once you click continue on the safety, look left and you should see text with the latest news of Quest BMBF updates. This means the mods worked. When you go solo, you will see a new icon at the top left, and once you click it, it shows the custom songs and playlists. Another thing, the scores you make will not be uploaded to the leaderboard for any songs you play. Anyway. That is it from me today, but please let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, and make sure you hit the like button. If you didn't, that button is also there, but please let me know why you decided to do that, so I can improve for the next video. Thanks, and take care.